Hello guys. Uh, so I've been watching some videos on how to quiet this generator and I really like how you just uh, take it and uh, stick it in a box with uh, like a little grill at the end of uh, the generator and uh, close the box and just leave it like that. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Number one, the muffler is uh, getting uh, the fumes inside the box. Number two is just adding up the heat from the muffler inside the box. And I don't think that's good for uh, the engine, for the electronics, for anything. If you're running this generator for about five or ten minutes, uh, I guess that's fine. But if you're going to run it for a half a day or a whole day, I don't know. I don't think uh, it's going to live very long. So <clears throat> I got one of those boxes out in the uh, mountains at my cabin. And since I've been running generator there pretty much a uh, whole day long and a big ass generator, um, and I'm just running a uh, refrigerator out of it. So I decided to get one of these. And uh, what, I, what I've done here, I installed a little muffler coupling and uh, muffler pipe, which I'm going to bring out uh, into the cabin. Uh, I purchased this uh, at the Home Depot, and it's just the connection kit to the uh, stove or gas furnace. It's actually 5 8 OD. Uh, that's probably the best size because it's a little bit larger than the uh, exhaust exhaust outlet from, from, from the muffler. And you do want to go larger, you don't want to go smaller. Okay, you don't want to choke it. So this comes with uh, pretty much, uh, it comes with pipe like this, which is uh, 48 inch long, and these uh, nuts at uh, both ends, and it comes with two of these also, one is brass, one is metal, and I uh, prefer the brass, so I use the brass, and uh, pretty much this is how it is, one is female, one is male, but they just come like that and this part is missing here which I actually cut off and uh, braze it under the muffler right uh, right here okay it's not actually a bad job this was very easy to braze it will stuck to this metal I mean it, it, it was stuck to the to the nipple really really easy because it's uh, brass nipple but it was stuck also to this metal and the muffler some of them I got a hard time I don't know why different metal probably but this one was fairly easy and uh, you're gonna end up with a little you know little dick stick now like that I would say and uh, my first idea was uh, I'm just gonna use this pipe and this whole thing is a little bit larger than the uh, than the opening, so that should be okay. And just pretty much screw it in here. Okay. And exhaust it exhaust it out of out of the box. Um, you know, you can twist it; it's flexible. But what a surprise! When I install this and when I turn it on, let me show you. And that's gonna be actually funny, but you will see what happens if I can screw this in properly. All right. Just a little bit higher. Okay, that's probably good enough right here, right? Yeah, that's not bad, right there. So, look at this.
Gracias, Lady Bernan. Gracias. Exactly didn't work for me. So pretty much, I had to keep. I had to keep working a little bit more on this thing. And uh, what I did, hold on a minute. Let me just uh, screw this in. So this is what you're going to end up with, this is the final product. It's going to be a little dick sticking out of the generator. But I don't think that's a big deal. At least not for me. It might be for somebody. Like, like for my wife. If I have a little dick like this. But that's not what we're here for. Okay. So, pretty much, and I'm gonna have to move this a little bit. I hope I am still in the picture. Yep. I just got a, I just cut a piece of this thing, about this long here, maybe about this long, because the first I cut it about this long, and it was still whistling like hell, so I cut it about this long. And then I brace this flexible hose on the top of this uh, this thing, which I had to actually enlarge with uh, copper, a little piece of copper pipe and three quarter inch copper pipe and three quarter inch coupling. Just a little piece, cut it off and stick it on. Of course, clean this, right? Stick it on top, and then it was perfect fit to fit it onto this uh, flexible flex here which I purchased on eBay but uh, I could have uh, just braced this straight or not but I just like the flexibility you know to screw it on like this so uh, this is what I got here now okay and it's uh, fairly flexible and I'm just going to screw it in like that. Okay. You might want to maybe take a pair of pliers. Make it a little tighter if you're going to run it for a longer time. Right? And... Uh, Sounds much better. Just a one inch, uh, one inch EMT with a coupling, perfect fit. But uh, you know, and this is the final product, and uh, it actually sounds really good. You take the fumes out of out of here or out of anywhere, pretty much. 
and uh, when you take this off now it's gonna be hot of course nah, not yet it's a very easy installation okay I just like the flexibility of the nut here and uh, it doesn't look too bad on the generator I mean really the look doesn't really matter that much but it's not uh, overly big and it's uh, very easy uh, to connect the pipe and uh, by the way I, I was going to mention something about this generator uh, a lot of people worry about uh, uh, running it out of gas uh, yeah well you might think it's a good idea to run it out of gas but actually it's not exactly a good idea because it doesn't really matter there is always little gas left into the carburetor and uh, this generator is equipped with a really good feature here on the carburetor and that is Hold on a minute, I'm gonna have to unscrew this from the tripod because I cannot get to it like that. And that is this screw here, I mean this uh, drain drain screw inside inside here. And that's uh, that's actually really really good uh, feature. If you're gonna if you're gonna drain it, well, number one, if you're gonna store it for a month or two, I wouldn't worry about draining it or running it out of the gas. If you're gonna store it for a year or two, then yes, unscrew the screw and even tilt the generator a little bit so all the gas will come out of it. And uh, that's, that's the best way to store the generator, okay? I would not worry about installing some switch here or disconnecting this switch, running it out of uh, out of uh, gas and uh, I don't know what else, what else because at, at the short term, if you're gonna run it out of gas and uh, there is a still a little gas left if you don't drain it, there is still a little gas left in the carburetor that will dry out much faster then it, if the carburetor is full and it will dry out and create pretty much glue just a little bit <coughs> just a little bit but if you're gonna do this uh, over and over again and again it will just build up at the bottom of the carburetor and uh, you will end up with a bad carburetor after a while best thing to do is just to run it every month for five ten minutes or at least every two months and you have no problems these things are m built to run actually okay so I just thought I'm gonna bring this to your attention that uh, if you're gonna stack this generator in a box and close it then you're just gonna have a little grill here to vent the rent uh, the muffler and uh, there is a fan of course uh, there is a fan running here to cool the generator too so uh, i don't think that's a good idea all right well thank you for your time oh i almost forgot one more thing this bottom light here which is the output indicator is actually also the uh, hour meter okay rough hour meter not exact but it will tell you when you start the generator how many hours is on the generator and that is the light will be blinking when it doesn't blink it's less than 100 hours one blink is 100 hours, two blinks 200 hours, three blinks 300 hours, four blinks 400 hours, five blinks 500 or more and it doesn't go any farther than that Okay, so I'm going to show you how, how it works actually. Now it 
blinks really fast, so I didn't have a time to look at it. But I hope you guys saw it. I'll do it again. I guess I'll find out when I look at the video. Alright, that's it.